The overall goal of this procedure is to transform infectious cercarii into schistosomula. This is accomplished by first harvesting infectious cercarii from the snail host. The infectious cercarii is concentrated and then transformed into non-infectious schistosomula using a double-edged needle. Finally, the schistosomula are concentrated and collected into a culture plate and incubated in RPMI at 37 degrees Celsius and 5% carbon dioxide. Using this method, transformed schistosomula with few cercarial or cercarial tail contamination can be obtained. Visual demonstration of this method is critical as a transformation procedure can be difficult to learn and potentially dangerous. Cercariae are infective and at a high concentration and isolation of schistosomula requires delicate and precise handling to proceed safely and effectively. Demonstrating the procedure will be John, a research assistant in my lab. Fill a clean 500 milliliter beaker halfway with room temperature distilled water. Using a standard aquarium fishnet and forceps, transfer the infected snails into the beaker. Place the beaker on an emergency spill tray 8 to 12 inches below an incandescent light source and leave it there for 1 to 2 hours. Exposure to bright light causes the cercarii to exit the snail host. To remove the snails, be sure to take extra safety precautions to avoid any contact with the infectious water, which contains cercarii that can penetrate human skin directly. Remove the snails, then replace the solution under a light source for about 15 minutes to allow any particulate waste matter to sink to the bottom of the flask. Once the waste has